Well, you've come around again. Can't seem to shake you off today, but hey oh, what we're gonna do? You've asked me, uh, well, what are we gonna do? Well, we've already done a little bit to this Triumph Tiger Cub, 1966. This model, uh, kind of similar model, were made from 55, 1955 to about 1967. These are a classic British bike. But like an old dear, you've got to give them plenty of care. This bike's been renovated uh, totally. Uh, it's had a full restoration, nut for bolt. Yeah, it's been quite exciting to do. Um, but what we've done today on a, well, it's a rainy day here in Yorkshire, UK. God's capital, God's uh, county, Yorkshire, yeah. Um, so John said, well, are we nearly there with this renovation? Yeah, but she hasn't been kicked over, we haven't heard her yet. So there's that's, uh, that's to do yet. What we've done, we've uh, made sure that we've uh, got the engine oil. Um, obviously um, needs to be loaded into the tank, the oil tank. You need to use a, a classic uh, mi a mineral oil for this, uh, this engine. Um, it's an old uh, classic 30 for vintage motorcycles. It takes about one and a half litres for this tank. Obviously, if you're going to change your oil, you've got to make sure that you've got a, a funnel um, for the oil. Um, you need a kind of you need a small funnel for this. Don't be uh, getting a big funnel, but make sure you've got a canister uh, to catch the oil. What's one and a half litres? What can be a lot more than what you think. So you'll end up with it all over your your workbench, which we don't want it uh, all over his workbench. It's quite a mess. Obviously, we're oil. Make sure that you get rid of it environmentally friendly. Uh, don't be tipping it down drains. Let's think of this uh, this world. We've got a bit of a crisis on our hands. What we need to do, we um, we need to keep this planet running. But yeah, going back to Triumph Tiger Cub, um, this 1966 model. So John asked me a question. We we fill this up with oil, yeah. Um, but what happens? How do we know that oil's flowing around this uh, this system? Shall we say? I mean, the Triumph Tiger Cub um, is quite notoriously known for seizing uh, on the rock ahead. Well, a couple of reasons why that is. Obviously, probably because back in the day, uh, young lads uh, could ride these at 16, 17, 18 years old, and what they'd do is they'd, they'd, be, they'd be revving them um, on the throttle uh, as they kicked them up. And that's not getting the oil heated up, and it's not making the oil flow. And then, obviously, after time, it, it does cause a seizure on the engine. But, um, right, John, you've asked me, how do we know that um, the oil's flowing? Well, there's a couple of indicators what you can do. Firstly, I've taken this um, spark plug out of the engine, actually. Um, I've took it out, then uh, it releases, there's no compression. So when you kick the kickstart over, she flows through. She flows, she's flowing, and there's no compression. Other than that, you wouldn't be able to do that with your hand. So yeah, we need to know that that oil's flowing around this system, making it into the, into the engine, and we know that it's it, there's no airlock in there. So what we do is we take the oil cap off. Yeah, so that's good. So we took the oil cap off, and how do we know? Well, what we do is there's no compression, so we kick the kickstart over. And what you do is if you look in the oil tank, what it'll do when it, if it isn't flowing. It'll not spit through. There's a there's a valve in there. But if you look, cast your eye in that top of that tank, you'll see the oil spitting out. So you know there's no airlock in there, and it's running around the system. Really, really important that that you've got oil to your engine and your rock ahead. Yeah, so that's uh, that's working, John. Looking forward to getting this bike uh, running today, hopefully. We'll get it kicked over and hopefully she runs. Um, should be no reason why not. It's a full restoration on this bike. Here in Kirby's Top Tips Workshop in Yorkshire, UK. Yeah, so well, we'll get that um, plug put back in, John, and we'll make sure everything's nipped up and tight. Get this workstation tidy. Obviously, me and John work together. Um, must ask, I must say that uh, the desk at work is like heaven, but John's is a little bit like hell. We might have a Kirby's top tip on John's workstation and work area, won't we, John? But yeah, but going back to this, 
old dear. We'll be looking at kicking her over today. And that's Kirby's top tips for today. <laughs>